This is the battlefield for our game of speed and strategy. These are the letters which lead to victory on Blockbusters! And here's the star of Blockbusters, Bill Pallet! Oh, yeah, thank you. The star of Blockbusters here. Thank you. Hi there, players. Thank you. Thank you all very much, and welcome to Blockbusters. Uh, on Blockbusters, I hope you know by now, we're just beginning to learn ourselves. We have a family pair oppose a uh, solo player. And right now, I would like to, we were in the middle or just beginning a game when time was called last. I would like you to meet our solo player. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a man who thus far has been with us for like five days, if I do believe. His name is John Hatton. He has won $36,000. Congratulations, John. And uh, a very fine mother and daughter pair playing against uh, John. The daughter is Faith Lipton and the mother, Norma Lipton. Welcome, Faith. And welcome, Norma. And hope and charity. John. John Hatton, I've been doing this sort of work for longer than I care to remember, perhaps even longer than you care to remember. But John Hatton, I think I said Horton, I mean Hatton, but anyway, John Hatton is truly a remarkable man. And I mean that, I mean that, John, and I, I will come to you in just a second and give you a chance to explain to them what I'm talking about. Uh, he is, uh, he's done very well. He is a psychologist. He's happily married. He has a family. And this show, as is just about everything else on television these days, is done on tape. So what we are talking about is in the past, recent past, but the past nonetheless. John, do you want to tell what awaited you after yesterday's show and after yesterday's taping session when you walked out of here on air with 36,000 bucks? Well, it was an incredible high to have won that amount of money. I discovered after the show that my wife and family were in the audience having known all day that my house had been burned to the ground in the San Bernardino fire. While John was here with us. John, you, you, you're really remarkable. I commend you. I wish you well. It, uh, it's, it, it says something about your profession. Well, Bill, if I might add, I, on the way back driving with the kids, I told them that life goes on, that we were tough enough not to let this kind of thing foul things up. I was involved in what I think is a super experience on this show, and I, I look on it as kind of an object lesson to my kids that you go on with what you're doing no matter what happens. Marvelous lesson. Right. So... It's been a, been a tragic past few days here in the Los Angeles area. Uh, fires that precede floods, but we all hang on and uh, do what John tells us to do. Go on in spite of everything. Well, now then, let's get, pick up the game right where we left it off. The score, you take a look at our board over there, you see uh, the, red, uh, the red capture. That belongs to John. He is our solo player, works his way from top to bottom. When he makes a, a connection, he wins a game. Two games constitute a match, $500 a game. Our family pair, on the other hand, they're working a white, and they're trying to make that connection from side to side, left to right or right to left, however it comes up. So, John, you had answered correctly when time was called. We wish you all the very best of luck. We start a new day, a happy day. Where would you like to go, John? Let's try F, Bill. The letter F. Okay, question coming. And Faith and uh, Norma, you get ready on your buttons. John, you get ready on yours. As soon as you think you have the answer to my question, hit that button. I'll stop talking, and you may answer. If you're right, you get the point. Question coming. Answer begins with an F. What F is Shakespeare's fat... <laughs> Yes, John? Falstaff. Boastful night. Falstaff is it, John. You're on your way again. All right, where to, sir? D, please. Letter D. As you see, trying to make that connection, bottom to top here. Question coming, ladies. And, John, what D is known for its famous white cliffs? It's Norma. Dover. Dover's right, yeah. and white's on. White has it. White has a spot up there. Capture the box. Hexagon. Where to, Norma? Um, N. Letter N. Okay. 
Everybody you know hang what? in there. Here comes question. <laughs> what N invaded England in 1066? <laughs> yes, John. <laughs> Time, that's considered a wrong answer. I repeat it for either Norma or Faith. What N invaded England in 1066? Yes, Norma? Norseman? Nope, not the Norseman. Norman, the Norman. Normans. <laughs> Being oh, completely, Normans are French and Norsemen are cold. <laughs> That's the way I always remembered it. Uh, you, uh, we stay with the ends now and come up with another one. Hang in there. Here we go. What N is the name of the RCA dog who is always listening to his master's voice? Oh. Nipper. N I P P E R. Did you remember that, Norma? I'll be darned. Even I, I, I didn't. I asked him about that before the game. <laughs> you were talking about that? Yes, and somebody had it in a trivia book, but... A trivia. A trivia. Yeah. Trivia. Trivia is a bone in your lower leg, but that's another story. <laughs> <It's a trivia. laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Question coming. We're still on the ends. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Everybody ready? What N is the famous service that rates the television shows? Yes, John? Nielsen. Nielsen's right. Red's on there. Okay, you see John's path there. Where to, John? S, Bill. Letter S. Question coming. Any of the three can answer. What S was Dick and Jane's dog? Yes, Norma? Spot. More trivia. Spot is right. White gets it. We'll be back here in just a moment to pick this game up, but right now we're going to pause because we do get bills, and here's how we pay them. Our game. This is the first game of a match. I did explain, but I will briefly again. Each game is worth $500. First team who wins $1,000 wins the match. Goes to Gold Rush for $5,000 more. John's already been there for $36,000. Norma, you answered correctly, I do believe. Yes. Where would you like to go, please? H, please. Letter H, trying to make that path from side to side. Here comes question. What H crossed the Alps with elephants? John. Hannibal. He was a guy, and Red gets it. Well, now... Where to, John? W, Bill. Letter W. That makes a connection at the top. We won't complete it quite. Here comes the question. As soon as you think you know the answer, hit your button. What W is hung on a door at Christmas? Yes, Faith. A wreath. Christmas time. Wreath is right, Faith. You move in with a block. Where to, Faith? I think I'll go to P. Letter P. OK. Question coming. What P is the comic strip created by Charles? John? Peanuts. Schultz. Peanuts is the right answer. Red gets it. Okay, John, take a look at the board and tell us where you'd like to go. O. Letter O. Yes, I would think you'd want to close that up if you could. Here comes the question. I stop as soon as I hear one of the sounds. What O do little acorns... Norma? Oaks. Grow up to be. Yeah. Oaks is the answer. Norma, you have it. White moves in with a block. Family pair moves side to side and need five. That's the handicap. What do you do now, Norma? Norma? L for my husband. L for your husband, <laughs> whose name's a Harry Lipton, a marvelous fellow. <laughs> okay, here we go now. Serious. What L was Tommy Rettig's four-legged friend? John? Lassie. Yes, John. Red gets it. Oh, now where, John? E. Letter E. It's getting confusing. All right. Yes, it is. That board does get it. It becomes a maze, but E's okay. Here comes the question. What E means, I have found it? John. Eureka. Indeed. Eureka. <laughs> John is represented by the red, the family pair, Faith and Norma by the white. John just scored. Where to, John? V, Bill. Letter V. Okay, take a look. If John gets this, he will have won the game and made the connection. You can block, Faith and Norma. Question coming. What V composed Rigoletto and La Traviata? Yes, Norma. Wagner. No. John, I repeat it for you, and it's game for John. What V, John, composed Rigoletto and La Traviata? Jeez. I'm going to kill myself. Nine. Oh, 30. Oh. 
Verdi, Verdi it was. Okay, we come up with another V. We stay with him. And take a look at the board. John, if he gets it, will have won the first game of this match. And, of course, Faith and Norma won a block. Question coming. Begins with a V. I mean, the answer begins with a V. <laughs> what V was the first state to be admitted after... Yes, Norma? Vermont. The original 13. Vermont's right, white blocks, family pairs in there. Look at our family pair go here. Well, now, taking a look at the board, it's up to you to connect to white to white. Where to, Norma? G, please. Norma, trying to connect across the board. <laughs> Question coming. Answer begins with a G. If our family pair answers it, it will not win the game for them. But if John blocks and comes up with the right answer, it will win the game for John. Uh -huh. Here we go. Answer begins with a G. What G did James Cagney shove into his... Yes, John. Grapefruit. Girlfriend's face in public. Enemy John, you won the game. Congratulations. Well, the game. Hey, game. Okay. Boy, that was a good game, as you can plainly wow. see by the board. Congratulations, John. Thank you, Bill. Norma and Faith, you played very well. You had a lot of white spots up there. That's game one of the match. 500 additional dollars to John. First side, a first player who wins $1,000, goes up for the gold rush for an additional 5000 Back in a moment. Would you watch this meantime? Game two of this match. John Hatton has won the first game, has $500. And Faith and Norma, our mother-daughter team, you have We're to... We're going to get him this time. You're going to get him? Yep. You better. Because if you don't win this time, that's it for you. You have to win to survive. We'll Did just you know have that? to do it there. Did you know that, Faith? You have to win yeah. to survive? That's yep. what they told me. Okay, this game starting. Let's see what happens. We're going to begin with the letter M. Everybody ready with your buttons now. Here we go. What M was Sherlock Holmes... John? Moriarty. Arch enemy. Moriarty's the answer. John, you're on again. Okay, John's on the board with a red right in the middle there. Where to, sir? F, please. Letter F. Answer starts with F. Question coming, everybody. What F was the older brother of Jesse James? Yes, Faith. Frank. I don't know. Nope. I repeat that now and give it to John. John, what F was the older brother of Jesse James? Frank. Correct. Although the answer was right, the buzzer beat her, and you came up with it. You did, but the buzzer beat you, Faith. When I said nope, I did not necessarily mean the answer was right or wrong. What I meant was that the buzzer had interrupted you. I could not describe that because that would pass too much oh. information along to John. Boy, was that clever. Okay, John. Got a couple there. Where do you want to go? A, please. Something I never got in school. I have a lot of them here. A question coming. What A is Jane Meadows married? John? Allen. Name. Allen is right, and John has scored again. Well, now. Look how close it is. Where to, John? L, please. No other choice. Well, he, he could have gone two other ways, but L's where he's going. And if he makes this, Norma and Faith, bye -bye. he wins it. <laughs> you, you said it, Norma, not I. Here comes the question. John could win the game with the answer. L. What L is married to former Beatle Paul? John? Linda. Linda is right. You won the game in the match. Okay. <laughs> okay, John. Hey, Norma. Norma and Faith, you played very well. That first game was quite a game. This one happened, but we thank you both for coming. Thank you. Have thank consolation you. prizes thank for both. Okay. Thank you kindly. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, nice. <laughs> All right, John. Let's see, you have 36,000 plus 1,000. That's 37. And now you're going to get a chance to play Gold Rush. Get set, because here comes our gold rush setup for 5,000 additional bucks. Come on over, John. <laughs> Last show, John and I started shaking hands. First time he came over and it brought him good luck, so we do it every time. I wish you well, John. You have 37 going for you. I'll explain this. Uh, our gold rush board is over there where everyone can see it to win the big money. John's going to start at the left side and attempt to make a path connecting the gold to the gold across. If he makes the connection, he wins $5,000 more. If he misses or passes, a block goes up and he has to work his way around it. Some of them are harder than others. The idea is to find that path that gets him through all those n n n traps like that and to the other side. And uh, you have 60 seconds, so keep going until time runs out. Okay, put 60 seconds up there. There it is. John, the clock will begin when you tell me where you want to start. A.C. American Steel Tycoon. Pass. Yep. F.U. Lived with Oscar Madison. Felix Unger. Right. B.V. 
He played Chicken George. Ben Vereen. Right. L.R. Spanky's Gang. Little Rascal. Right. I.O.T.B.S. Plant Pods from Outer Space. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Right. J.M. Recently portrayed by Lonnie Anderson. Oh, Lord. Jennifer. Nope, better go on. F.O.T.B.B. Green Hornet's theme song. Pass. S.A.H. S.A.H. Glazer and Soul. Starsky and Hutch. Right. N.B. He played Dr. Watson. No. Nigel Bruce. Nigel Bruce is the answer to oh, it. You did it. You had about eight, I think. <laughs> Good going. Good going, John. Here, here. <laughs> 42 grand. <clears throat> oh, boy, John. Let's, uh... Well done. You know, it's up to me... Not, not, it's up to me to be impartial, but I can't help saying I'm very happy for you. Every little bit helps Thank from this you. point on. Let me take a look and see those ones John missed. A.C., American Steel Tycoon, Andrew Carnegie, or as we say in Pittsburgh, Andrew Carnegie. And uh, the other was Green Hornet's theme song, F-O-T-B-B, oh, Flight of the Bumblebee. Sure, sure. And J.M., recently portrayed by Lonnie Anderson, Jane, uh, Jane Mansfield. Certainly not. Oh, sure. But you have an additional 5,000, 42,000 in all. The game goes on. Have your seat, oh, and good luck thanks. to you back here in just a moment. Good going, John. Just been talking, talking to our accounting apartment, John. The, uh, you now have $42,000 that you've won. 48000 is the all-time high on blockbusters. If you win this next match and go up and get the 5000 uh, you will, uh, 47,000 is all-time high. You will surpass that and have 48,000. You will then be our all-time big winner. We don't say that to Jake because I'm not superstitious and I hope you're not. <laughs> but anyway, you're that close. We have a very attractive mother-daughter pair here. Let's say hello to mother first, Jean Rzeski. Hello, Jean. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Did I say your name reasonably well? Yes, Jean Rzeski. Okay. Tell us about you, Jean. I was born in Panama. I live in New York City. Uh, my daughter and my two sons and my husband are proud owners of a beautiful boxer named Brutus. <laughs> I a boxer? had to get that in. A beautiful boxer? Yes. Yeah, we fight competitions between the dog and the kids. You I know? see. Oh, a boxer dog. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I was thinking of a boxer, you know, going there and punch people and stuff like that. Deirdre McElroy is the daughter. Hello, McElroy. Deirdre. McElroy. McElroy. Tell us about you. Hi, Bill. I'm originally from New York. I now reside in Los Angeles. I work for a major... Uh, airline mm -hmm. reservations. I ha I'm married. I have two little girls, and I'm busy. Oh, I bet you are. <laughs> thank you for taking time out of your busy day. Oh, thank you. Let's, let's start the game here. It's John against uh, the mother-daughter team, and we're going to begin this game with the letter C. Winner of the game gets $500. Winner of a match that consists of two games, $1,000, and a chance at the big gold rush. Okay, everybody, ready? Gene, Deirdre, fingers on the buttons. John. Answer starts with a C. What C is called the ship of the desert? John? Camel. Camel is the answer, and you're on your way. John connecting top to bottom. R, please. Letter R. Everybody ready? What R is an ordained teacher? John? Rabbi. Of the Jewish law, rabbi is the answer. John, you're good. <laughs> oh, boy. Where to, sir? T, please. Letter T. Be three-fourths of the way there if he gets it. Deirdre, Jean, here we go. Okay. What T is the bull in the Zodiac? John. Taurus. Taurus is right. Boy, look at that. Where to, sir? E, please. Letter E for the game for John. Deirdre and Jean want a block. Here's the question. What E strikes back in the sequel to Star Wars? Yes, Deirdre. Empire Strikes Back. Empire sure does. Empire's the answer. You have a in there for the block. There's the game, three to one at the moment. We'll be back in just a second, but right now we have these words we thought you might want to watch. Deirdre and our champion, John, will all be back with us next time. I hope we can count on you. Goodbye. We'll see you. Some of our contestants will receive Kentucky Pride. Win Tuition, the game that turns knowledge into college, now turns your screen into green. Win Tuition is interactive.
Register at GameShowNetwork.com, and before the show starts, tune in to Wintuition. Click on the Wintuition interactive logo, and before you know it, you're back in school. Play along with the show and compete for prizes against other home players. Break for recess and chat with other viewers as you keep track of the competition on live leaderboards. For rules and registration, go to GameShowNetwork.com. Stretch waistband that gives for comfort and easy care stay press fabric. Levi's Action Slacks, perhaps the most comfortable slacks a man can wear. And a representative from our studio audience will receive Airways Encore 2 Casual Luggage. Beautiful, lightweight, and durable with out of wheels for the ease of roll along luggage furnished by Airways. This is Bob Hilton speaking for Blockbusters, a Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production.